Hey, Thomas Bartke here and welcome to Trackify. I'm going to show you here the quick four minute install of Trackify. Here is where we're going to start out. This is your current situation maybe on one of your product pages. You can see there's a view content event firing. It is the one that is coming from Shopify. That is assuming that you have your pixel in installed in the Shopify settings. But you can see there's a warning here, it's yellow. So something is afoot with that. I'm going to show you how to fix all of this and how to get the priority installation, the priority quality of the Trackify uh, Pixel events into your, all of your pixels in just four minutes of installing this uh, Trackify app right here. So here we are on the settings screen and there are really three steps that you need to do and you need to do this and make sure that everything is working but it's only going to take four minutes really to implement. So here you go, you type in the name of your first pixel that you want to here use as the main pixel and you can use a second account pixel that's gathering exactly the same information and it's useful to do that as a backup just in case you lose access to your primary pixel. So you can do this same here in this box. You can either type in the pixel name or use the drop down and show all the pixels that you have access to. Now, that is step one. So just go ahead and let's go ahead and save this. And the second step is super important. It's enabling our super cool Trackify Ninja mode. So all you need to do with that is you click in this field here, you go uh, copy, then you click on this link over here, which takes you straight into your Shopify checkout settings. You scroll down here until you see this field that says additional scripts. And then you just um, click into this field, you hit paste, and there you are, that's done. Click save and that finishes already. Step two, so you're already awesome now. You have the Ninja mode in enabled and you have the Trackify pixel installed now. Let's fix the yellow arrow real quick, the error um, that I showed you. Let's fix that real quick. We're going to just create a quick and dirty catalog because that is the error. That's the warning. So creating a quick and dirty catalog will just simply fix this. So let's go. Trackify demo. You select your business manager here. Again, you can either type the name of the business manager or drop down all of the business managers you may have access to. And over here, you assign a default product category. This is not rocket science. You just pick a category that roughly matches most of your products. And there you go. Then you hit save and build catalog. It goes through these three steps, letting you know what's happening. And at the end of that, you will have completed the three steps. Now, the only other thing we need to take care of is making sure that we take out the Shopify pixel from the integration there. So let's hit re reload here. Let's refresh this page and look again at Facebook Pixel Helper. And you can see here, there are now two view content events. One of them is coming from, from Shopify, that's this one. And the other one is coming from Trackify, that's this one, okay? So at this point, you have duplicate events and that is not good, you can't have that. So what you need to do is you need to take that out from your Shopify online store preferences. That's over here when you're in your Shopify interface, you go to online store preferences. Then you get this page right here. You can see Facebook pixel IDs here. You click and change, you delete it, you hit save and you're done with that part. Now let's go here again and refresh that again to double check and make sure it's all good now. You can see the view content event is now only one. It's the one that comes from Trackify and it is all green. And that is because we just created a quick and dirty catalog. You can actually already use this catalog for DPA ads, but there's a whole separate module where we show you to do this much better and set it up correctly and set up all your DPA ads with a killer way that Trackify supports. So this is the basic install. We're already done in just over four minutes. Now go ahead and uh, do this, do these steps, rewatch the video if you have to, and then go over to the um, Trackify ta tracking tag screen and I'll show you there how to create the really powerful stuff that pushes your targeting and your audience building way over the top by adding niche specific information to all of your pixel events using Trackify. So see me over there in the tracking tag screen and this is Thomas Barker signing off.